Uh, so to be clear, uh, some of the terror that goes on and uh, would go on with my life and if I were to be put into medical care in my current situation, especially or in general for anyone at all times in shapes and forms, uh, what I would be likely given uh, first off would be a, a good heavy dose of psychiatric medications. And those would be medications specifically designed to break my body's basic bodily functions and repair and uh, used to uh, an attempt, maybe, or maybe not, depending on if they wanted to hear me complain or anything like that, as fucking say is what they do, uh, designed to make my body feel worse, terrible, gross, basically collapse and destroy itself as uh, slowly and terribly and destructively as possible, prevent regeneration and healing, uh, destroy nerves uh, horribly and disgustingly, causing more spasming and ticking, and uh, and more spasming and ticking and causing spasming and ticking in general for that shit. And the first place to do that to me, uh, I do suspect it went from poisoning to uh, what happened and starting in November, leading to this. Uh, yeah, so the that be and uh, prevent my body from healing, regenerating, repairing itself, uh, make these things worse, more uncomfortable, more horrific to experience as part of the general treatment system they put me on. You know, my opinion, and I've never done this before, I've never had this before, but I probably need something like morphine, uh, actually, if there were to be like a medication to make this better, actually. And uh, never done heroin, never had access to heroin, wouldn't know uh, good or bad or anything other than what I've seen on TV for how to use it. So. And, uh, you know, especially with uh, some of the things that were going on, I wouldn't trust the coordination to put a needle in me anyways. And I've never done that. And, uh, I was always working against it, especially including by people that did that as a, as a you know, end of life uh, sort of suicidal situation to get involved in. But hell, you know, not my life, not the way I do it, not the way I would do it. Uh, but, uh, you know, I would, uh, you know, need something at the level of morphine, I think, to cope with what's going on. And it's strange because there are ups and downs in terms of my energy and things like that. And, uh, you know, guys, you know, uh, melatonin have both been proven as almost like non-essential, non-existent, and like I didn't take shit in uh, crazy ass fucking ways compared to what is uh, how I ever saw that in the past. So I just kind of adjust, relax, and live, and get my rest, and get my sleep, and do everything I can, be as healthy as I can, and prevent degeneration. Because, uh, there are ways to do it, and there are ways that I'm like, um, should I eat? Should I not eat? Um, I mean, I've been eating like four or five meals a day, things like that. It's the way it goes. It's the way life is. You know, I kind of fear and worry that the Nero really does something uh, fucked up to me. And, uh, you know, I believe there's always a way to repair and regenerate everything, especially uh, a you know, new shit in history kind of perspective in life. So, it's just the way it goes, and where we go, and the way life is. And, uh, Keep me the fuck away from any sort of medical community situation. They did try to uh, erase me and throw me in a fucking, you know, make me disappear into that kind of situation. And, you know, I do thank uh, everything out there in uh, the greater world and universe that that man did that. Because uh, who the fuck knows how bad my life and health and situation was going to get and would continue to get and would get if I were to be forced and not let out of that fucking box. Scary, crazy, glad he did that. And uh, also approved the uh, panic attack. Uh, it's a good way to talk about uh, that to uh, slave races, all the population that at this point, especially stupid ass slave races, dumbass pieces of shit. Just uh, look at your phone, don't worry, don't care. Bye bye. Just, uh, I don't know what the fuck you do on the internet anymore, people. They literally uh, have uh, adjusted the design of and layout of internet and websites, including things like Facebook, to be more uh, uh, like difficult to look at. Like kind of like something's wrong about this fucking screen. It just looks like I don't want to look at this. It looks uncomfortable. I just see oh, this thing. Where the fuck did design philosophy go from intuitive and to, to what the hell? Like I have to go through like 18 different menus to what used to be just through one click and shit. You know. Stupid, stupid, uh, basically they're just trying to, like, fuck off and destroy the fucking internet, so, what the hell, what the hell, what the hell, how long before this shit's irrelevant? Well, it has been irrelevant, I think, uh, at least for maybe about a year now, they just kind of fucking shit all over it during COVID, you know, it's that on new sites like CNN and Fox like that, the way the layout is, you're just like, I, fuck these, like, plus the stores are like, okay, no, fuck it, wow, yeah, it, you know, bleh. 
What's your reality verification system? What's going on in the world around you? What's relevant? What's not? Well, sit in your, sit in your home and start texting people or do something stupid like that instead of walking outside and taking a walk in. Well, maybe you've never done that before, so how do you fucking handle anything out there? Anything at all? You're not. Goodbye. Race to die. Have a great day. I was actually, uh, you know, survived in spite of being raised that way. And why did that happen? Well, they found out my IQ was somewhere around about 150. When, they, uh, when I emerged and uh, was found in uh, preschool and kindergarten, one of the things they said, uh, you should probably start treating him like a real person because he might actually be a beneficial human being for your family. And they're like, no, not slave. And, oh, my parents fucked pieces of shit. Like I said, rather be a slave baby, more slave, than a little David trained to say it as a slave master. Too deep there. Too big, too big. Thought you uh, might have wanted to get away from being a uh, part of that family and that shithole life. And now uh, you were just stalking me to start this and do this. And, dude, can't fucking believe what kind of shithead. I mean, I hope when you die and you get to look back on the road of your entire life, I hope you see what everyone else does about what a fucking uh, embarrassing person you are as a human being. And actually, like I said, stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I got punished for what you did. Honestly. All the time, and you know that. And fuck you as a person. Spoiled well, ass, upper village piece of shit. If I can go back in time, shit, man. 20 year old Mike might have uh, set you up for a nice little fucking greeting from the community when you started to try and come around.